Hey YouTube, Kent here from Think Trade Profit. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about a pet project of mine, building a fidelity trading bot. Uh, the goal here is to have something completely autonomous, works on some kind of algorithm to put in trades for you and make money where you don't have to monitor it at all. So the thing that kicked this off really was I had this idea quite a while ago, but technically it's a challenge. The biggest challenge with Fidelity is they don't have a public API, especially for orders. TD Ameritrade, strangely enough, does. Um, and I, I saw a guy on YouTube, part-time Larry, I'm gonna give him a ton of credit in this video. Um, he really kind of renewed my interest. He's a software engineer by trade, but he's interested in finance. He's got an amazing channel, a ton of content, and I learned a lot from him. And he really kind of kickstarted this idea with me again. I was like, wow, this is possible. I just need to put in a little bit of effort. So part-time Larry, check out the link in the description. As we go through the parts and the components of this bot, if you guys are more interested, I'll spin off some more videos because I do have a lot of other topics to talk about related to building this bot. Um, so a big piece of what makes this possible is TradingView. So TradingView.com, I've talked about it in some of my other videos. Uh, you can use quite a bit of the features with a free account. They have great charting. They have a cool alerts feature. There are a bunch of scripted free indicators and strategies. It's really kind of daunting and intimidating to dig into initially. There's a lot going on in their UI and it takes some time to get used to uh, the navigation and where things are hiding. I'm gonna give you a quick overview because I've dug into this a little bit deeper. This really forms the heart of the kind of algorithmic logic behind when to place trades. So quick overview, uh, what you see here is basically a chart plus the PineScript window um, down below. And there's some code editing spaces, there's some alert navigation on the side. And again, th this is worthy of its own video, but basically TradingView had a Black Friday sale and I've used their alerts before and they're pretty powerful. You can basically set up alerts to any kinds of indicators or conditions or scripts. You can make your own or you can use the thousands that are free out there in the community. And with these alerts, you can have them send you a text, an email, you can use a webhook you can tie them to a webhook URL, so they'll call an endpoint with the alert and you can manage a payload like that. I don't wanna to get too much in the technical components of this because that may not be what's of interest to you guys, but basically TradingView alerts with some back-tested strategies that I researched, um, that's what I'm setting up to kind of be the, the brains behind this um, trading bot. This is where the logic of buy and sell is gonna happen. So super high level, um, I wanted something that would complement my normal trading. I trade on the one minute charts, I scalp, I don't hold my trades very long. I wanted something that was out there uh, making some trades, holding for a little bit longer time periods just to complement what I do throughout the day. So basically I back tested a couple different five minute strategies. Uh, this is something I coded up myself. I, I may share it with you guys in the future. This hasn't been put to the test with real money. I've manually traded it, but I haven't run it with the bot in real time. So it doesn't really matter what I have, but I want to encourage you to dig in and get used to TradingView because even with a free account, it's very powerful. Um, so with the Black Friday sale, uh, I bought a Pro Plus account or what have you, and I can configure up to 100 alerts in TradingView. The idea here is the alerts are server side. Um, they don't they're not minute that my computer doesn't have to be on i don't have to be on tradingview.com once you set them up they live at tradingview.com and they just send you the messages and like i said i've mainly traded them a little bit they send me sms uh, text messages and the emails but now i'm ready to take the next step i have some of the other things in place that'll intercept these trading view alerts trade with them in real time put orders into fidelity um, and then set a profit target and a stop loss and just go to town super high level um there's back testing and strategy testing and you can take basically any indicator and with a little bit of kind of code manipulation you can create a strategy or a study and uh, with that you can configure the alerts to a strategy i'm not going to go into it super deep but maybe we'll investigate it if uh, a little bit more deeply if you guys are really interested in the series and I'll talk a little bit more about what I was doing here, but this is just on Facebook and there's a kind of a performance summary here. You can see an overview and drawdown. It's really pretty amazingly powerful. And again, all this is accessible from a free account even. You can get in there and start playing with PineScript. It's their own proprietary language. It's pretty cool. So anyways, what I have yet to do tonight to prepare for the next trading day is configure the rest of my alerts to some of these strategies that I, I've already back tested and I want to run. 
I did some research and I found about 22, 23 stocks that over hundreds of trades had a decent edge with one of the strategies that I'm going to run in real time. I'm not going to get too big into the details. I can tell you what I was thinking, but I wanted something that was kind of relatively safe. Out, safe. I was kind of going for an even stop loss with an even profit target. We'll go into more of that later. Um, but I ran it across a lot of NASDAQ 100 stocks and I handpicked a bunch that had decent volume, things that I would normally trade manually. Um, and these are going to be kind of my go-to. I'm going to set up alerts for the buy side and the sell side for most of these on this list, depending on how some of this is, uh, data is a little bit old. But I'm going to set up hopefully about 40 alerts, meaning um, a buy and a sell um, potentially triggered on the five minute chart for up to 20 stocks. So what makes this possible? Um, there is an automation framework called Selenium. It's used for software testing and you can use it to automate your browser. Um, Fidelity doesn't have an API. They don't have a public API where you can send information and have it create an order for you. So what I did is I used Selenium uh, with some Python code. I, and again, part-time Larry set up uh, a lot of the frameworks for this. Um, obviously I didn't have an API like TD Ameritrade, so I kind of had to build my own thing and I'll show you how that works right now. This is Postman. It's a kind of a API testing tool. And I have PyCharm up back here. I'm gonna run a command called Chalice. All right, I'm using a, a framework called Chalice and it's actually for Amazon Web Services. And it didn't quite work out the way I wanted, or at least I couldn't get Selenium to run up on AWS Lambda, but I could get this Chalice package to run on my local and run the Selenium instructions that would enter orders in Fidelity for me. So let me show you how that works real quick. So I start up a server on my local machine I'm using another tool called Ngrok. I just learned about this this weekend. And basically, when I, it's because I ran into this hiccup. I was trying to put the stuff in the cloud on AWS so I wouldn't have to run it from my machine at all, but it didn't work out. So uh, I really wanted to get this MVP up. I wanted to put it to the test in the markets real time with real money, so I found a, a workaround. Basically, right now I'm serving up um, an endpoint on my local and it's listening for activity. Ideally, when this goes live, it's listening for those uh, trading view alerts to come in and tell it what to do, buy, sell, etc. What I have is something called Ngrok. So Ngrok is another free thing, completely free. You can try it out. I'm using the free version. You can basically take your local server um, endpoint and give it a public URL that's accessible. So why is this important? Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to hit my code, the code that says, hey, Fidelity, I, I need to put in a buy order or I need to put in a sell order. But with this, I get around the AWS problem for now um, and I spin up some endpoints. So again, there's a bunch of instructions, really good documentation. Part-time Larry uh, has this in a couple of videos where he uses it. I didn't even know this existed before this weekend. So anyways, uh, we're just gonna go Ngrok. Once you get this installed, it's it's really easy. It's like a one command thing and you say, hey, I want you to spin up a public API that's going to pass stuff to my local host on port 8000. And that's what it does. Um, these are actually my public endpoints here. And I'm going to take these and I'm going to put these into my testing tool and then I'm going to show you how an order gets created. All right, so what I did here off screen was um, I took these new endpoints and these are going to change. So don't worry about trying to hit these yourself. You're not going to be able to hack my computer or anything like that. But um, I took this endpoint and I put it in my testing tool and I have a route. So I talked about Python and I talked about Selenium a little bit. Um, I have some code that is in an environment on my computer, basically some endpoints being served up on my local and now they're public using ngrok so i can hit them with this testing tool and what this is is this is a simulation of the trade uh, trading view alert coming in and creating an order on fidelity the markets aren't open right now so i haven't actually hooked up an alert ever yet to my code to run real time but i am going to do it in the next market session that's what the next video is going to be about but i want to show you how this works so this is essentially a test so i hit this and this calls out, and now you can see my browser is animated. And what this is doing is going in and shoving in a buy order really quickly and logging out. Some of that's going to be blurred out because it's got my personal personal information in there. And we got an error. 
and this didn't complete. Hopefully this order completed. So this is what we're going to work out when we when we go real uh, real time. But I'm going to go ahead and close this for the moment. And what we're going to do is we're going to go. I have uh, Fidelity open. I logged into my account. I have it open on the other side here. So this is some of my testing from earlier. Basically, this is the activity and orders window, the orders window here. I hid most of my personal information, I think. Um, so these are tests I ran earlier. And these are different orders, and they're all canceled now. I didn't want to leave them open. But basically, what that testing tool send triggered was a market buy order with a bracket for profit and uh, profit target and stop loss. So basically put in a market buy in with a profit target half a point up and a stop loss half a point down. I may have it 50, 60 cents, I can't remember. But anyways, so when I refresh this, I've been logged in already, you're gonna see that order that was created by that testing tool where I hit that endpoint. So let's just refresh this real quick. And if everything worked out all right, here's the order. So you see this order, this is the open, this is the market order, the markets aren't open, this isn't extended hours or anything, and it's, uh, it's the weekend anyways. But this would have got executed pretty much immediately. And then you got this other um, bracket order. And one of these is for uh, the profit target, which is a little bit higher than what Airbnb was when we put this in, we hope. And then a stop loss a little bit lower. And those are just set out there. And that is kind of a, a, a uh, set it and forget it kind of trade, right? You can walk away from that. That's all handled now with the profit target and the stop loss. Just let it ride and wait for the next orders to come in. So that's how that works, and that's how those trading view alerts are going to come in and take care of this. Basically, all my trades are going to have a set profit target and stop loss. They're going to be entered, whether a buy or short sell, and then we're going to let them ride until completion. And I'm going to hopefully capture uh, orders from 20 different stocks throughout the day on the five-minute chart. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel these. The biggest part of this whole thing is there's a lot of flaws with back testing and real uh, kind of real time action in the markets. The back testing could be skewed a little bit, right? It, it's it's on a candle on close trigger. Um, these orders, the way I've coded them here, and when they come in, hopefully they shouldn't. They should take about ten seconds to be entered. So it's not like a super scalping, you know, sensitive kind of thing. It's a five minute chart. Ideally, we'd be in trades anywhere from you know, ten minutes to. 30, 35 minutes. On average in back testing, most of the trades, kind of the sweet spot was right around uh, four, four to five bars. Most of the trades were out either, you know, at a profit or a loss in four to five bars. So they're gonna be like 20, 25 minute trades, hopefully. Um, I'm probably gonna run with about uh, 10 or 20 shares to start off with. Like I said, I've never had this run kind of autonomously live before, but I just wanna give it a go and see how well it does. Obviously, um, I'm hoping for a lot of trades per day because the edge in these trades isn't very high. Most of, most of the, the win percentages are like 54 to 57%. Um, so what I'm hoping is just a lot of trades over a period of time, over a week, hopefully at least 40, 50 trades a day, that's 250 trades a week. And with that kind of edge, if it holds up, even a four to 7% edge or more, um, you're gonna be profitable. Uh, maybe not every day, but it, even at the end of the week is highly, you know, high, highly probable. So that's really it. The next video is going to be about me putting this motion uh, live in the markets with real money. I'm thinking about 20 shares a pop. I could easily have the back thing was, it was kind of laborious to figure out how many positions I, I would have at one time. I don't really care about that. I just want a lot of trades during the day. I want a lot of trades with the small edge and act like a casino. Um, and just and just let the, the machine take care of it. So that's it. I hope this is interesting for you. Um, I will probably create a separate backtesting video. I have a lot of experience with backtesting. I've created a lot of trading systems over the years. Forex, um, mostly stocks, options, futures. Um, I used NinjaTrader with some pretty good success uh, years ago, but I just haven't gone back in this realm ever since high frequency trading came in, but the markets are so good. If this works out and it's safe, I'll share the code with everybody and I'll tell you how to configure it. Um, you don't necessarily need a pattern day trading account to do this. You could tweak this code to you know, trade on longer time frames, trade the one hour or the, the four hour and make sure your profit targets are really far apart so you don't get caught up in the pattern day trader rule. And you can buy fractional shares, you can do whatever. But with that, I'll let you guys go. Thanks so much. Um, thank you so much. We're over 6,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. It's just crazy. It's been a wild couple of years, um, but it's been a lot of fun. So I wish you the best of luck. I will see you soon. As always, protect your profits. Be careful out there. I'll see you next time.